In my last couple of videos, I've been using this inductor to kick more voltage into the uh, capacitor than the power supply. A simple and not very effective, but a uh, voltage booster. So there's pre-made voltage boosters. You would normally buy this, but this is a fun circuit in my opinion. So first I just drew current through the 100 ohm resistor and the inductor directly to ground using a jumper that I would tap to uh, make a connection that would get current flowing when I released it the current still wanted to flow it could go through the uh, capacitor and the uh, diode there but not back the other way so it would charge up the capacitor and up to a higher voltage than what the power supplier is doing because the inductor does not make sudden changes in current it fights sudden changes keeps current flowing and to do that if it needs to it raises the voltage to uh, what it can and what it needs to. So to make it better I have a transistor here instead of tapping the inductor I can take this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and so less current to the base of the transistor it operated as a switch every time I gave it a pulse the transistor conducted pretty much fully pretty much instantly and uh, gave us the path again. So just with the transistor alone it wasn't really an improvement uh, as tapping there. But now I want to deliver the signal with a timer. And I tried to build just right off of the timer the inductor doing the same stuff we're doing here, but it did not work. So I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is with the timer, but it doesn't seem to make a direct connection near as well as connecting a piece of wire. So what we're going to do, we're going to wire this in the A stable mode. So you can already see I have pin 2 and pin 6 connected together. We have to power this. So pin number 1, top pin there, is to the negative rail. That's pin 2. And then pin number 8 up there is to the positive rail. And that's how you power it. Also, there's three resistors in there and you get one third of the power supply voltage on one side and two thirds of the power supply voltage on the other side and so pin number six down here so it's one two three four and then five six pin six responds when we get to two thirds of the power supply voltage there'll be a capacitor charging and then pin number two when the capacitor is discharging responds when the capacitor gets down to one third of the power supply voltage so we're going to grab that capacitor and this capacitor is a 10 microfarad capacitor. There you can see right there, 10 microfarad and 50 volts. I just find this is probably a uh, good value to use. Maybe not the best, but uh, there we go. And now to begin with, we're going to keep the oscillation slow. So we're going to grab a 100 kilo ohm resistor going from pin 7 to uh, pin 6. So pin 7 is the discharge pin. There we go. And uh, so to actually charge the capacitor, we're going to need this resistor from uh, pin 7 to the positive rail. So when it charges, it's going to go through two resistors. That will set half of the timing uh, of the period. And so while it's charging, we will have a uh, high output, I believe. And uh, and then it will discharge through one resistor. So it's going to discharge twice as fast as it charges. So it will be off a little bit longer. So we can add a diode to equalize it or whatever. This is not a picky circuit. So we're just going to keep it simple. So now I'm going to add an LED just so we can see how fast it's flashing. Well, it's fast uh, flashing slower. And so I'm going to put the short lead, the cathode, to the negative rail there. And uh, the output is right there pin number three I'm gonna grab a 220 ohm resistor and go to the line lead the anode of the LED and the other side to the output of the trim pot now when I turn the power on you can see because they're 100 kilo ohm resistors we have a very slow pulse and it is high about twice as long as it is low so now that we have that we are going to expand a little. So here's the resistor I was tapping in uh, the last video just to uh, the uh, positive rail and 
that would turn the transistor on and off. What I'm going to do is, after we zoom back, I'll connect the uh, jumper from that uh, base of the transistor jumper there to the output of the 555 timer. It's going to be able to power both of those. First I'm going to zoom back. We will take a look in real time at the voltage across the capacitor that uh, later on we hope to be able to boost. I actually have not tested this out and uh, but I think I got everything. But there we go. We're making a connection. So each one of these squares is half a volt. So we're measuring the capacitor and what you're seeing here is the capacitor drains a lot of it is through the meter it doesn't have a terrible amount of resistance but when it's charged up a bit it drains mostly through the meter also it has some leakage and the uh, the zener diode may have a little leakage too this is going to prevent the zener diode the capacitor from charging above about 22 volts but in any case right now the pulses we're delivering which is quite a bit slower than what I was doing I was tapping it maybe four or five six times a second you can see this is like once every couple seconds or something so it does still pump some uh, current and thus the voltage rises briefly into the capacitor but it can discharge a bit and if we yank the resistor going there you're gonna see that it keeps uh, discharging so it's discharging through the meter you can see the curve there for the RC time constant so I'm going to return that and leave that there so I don't have any other resistors ready so uh, we'll come back and uh, that was a uh, oh okay what that probably was was my body delivering the signal so actually this is pretty cool uh, I wasn't planning on this but uh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. So I can falsely trigger the transistor. I've done other videos on this. If I uh, use my body there, so you can see it going up. So the the uh, transistor is not saturated right now, and so I probably kind of rapidly connected to the output and whatnot. But there you can see I'm providing a small but about 60 times a second signal to the transistor and we could take what the transistor is conducting that's also why it's going uh, slower because the capacitor is a little bit more charged but about 60 times a second because that's how fast the current is changing around me in the house I deliver a tiny pulse and so it's not saturated it's not conducting fully but it's conducting enough to build up some magnetic field to where when uh, the voltage is lower it rapidly rises and now it's uh, leveled off so these are half a volt per square I set zero at the top of the first square so we got uh, one two three four so I'm charging the capacitor to about two volts so we're not boosted above the power supply voltage but uh, we can see that uh, I'm pumping some current into the capacitor from uh, the inductor in this case it's going to be about 60 times a second and uh, so a little bit of current's getting pumped in, so its voltage is going up a bit. But now it's discharging through the oscilloscope. So now I have a couple 10 kilo ohm resistors ready. I'm going to yank out the 100,000 ohm resistors. You're going to see we're not oscillating anymore because the capacitor is not charging or discharging. And so first, I think I'll squeeze in the 7 to 6 resistor here so these are 10 kilo ohm resistors what we're gonna see is the output flashing 10 times faster and so I'm starting with that speed because yeah you can see that uh, it is flashing and that's probably that's pretty close to what I was able to just tap the uh, wire to make uh, the connection but now we're gonna go to the output there and you can see voltage shot up rapidly. That's because we're only at 0.5 volts. Let's uh, that goes down. Let's go to a uh, two volts. Okay, we don't need to go to two volts per square. We go to one volt. And so let's see if it's even above five now. So one, two, three, four, five. No, nope, we're right at five. So with a uh, 10 ohm resistor, that uh, that's not enough. So let's uh, bump it up to one kilo ohm resistors. 
So now I have a one kilo ohm resistor from pin six to pin seven and we'll add the positive rail to pin seven and the LED is flashing so fast it just looks like it's on but it's actually turning on and off very fast and we have a much higher voltage. Let's change this to uh, two volts per division and we still weren't uh, seeing anything. So now five volts per division. So we got five, 10, 15. So we're up to uh, 15 volts and it looks like it leveled off at uh, about that point. So we got it boosted to 15 and uh, so it's not quite to the uh, 22 I was hoping for so let me try using uh, let's cut uh, the resistance in about half I have 510 ohm resistors and actually I just decided we will go down to 220 ohm resistors here and there you can see now that I finally have it solidly connected we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 volts, 22, 23 it looks like, uh, so it's being limited by that Zener diode. This capacitor I think is rated for 50 volts, so we could go up to 50 volts, but uh, I'm going to keep it uh, lower, and so it would keep charging more than this, I don't know how much, but uh, maybe up to 50, so at the uh, rate that this is flashing we are actually getting the uh, voltage boost. So a load of course would take current and so this uh, wouldn't power anything significant, probably not. That may be tests for other videos, but there's a lot more efficient voltage boosters out there. And this is just kind of a fun uh, build, at least fun for me. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.